In this video we are making a pair of crochet shoes for our 8 inch classic semi doll. Start off by chaining 5. If you are new to crochet I invite you to check out my learn to crochet for beginners video series on YouTube. The link is down below in the video description. Wind the yarn around your finger twice. Put the back strand over the front one and the back one over the front one again and you have a loop that you can start off with. Now we're chaining five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we are starting at the second stitch from the hook and we are making three half double crochets into the next three stitches now. One, two and three and after that we're going to make six half double crochets into the next stitch one oops so at the moment I'm still going pretty slow but if it's still too fast for you or later on when I'm a little bit faster then you can if you're on a desktop computer you can turn down the speed in the YouTube settings like there's like an information button somewhere on the video and you can um, set the speed to half if you like so we're making six half double crochets into the this stitch here And then the loop's getting a bit big here, so I'm just pulling on the tail, the yarn tail, and then I can close this stitch. Now I'm continuing into the next three stitches, one half double crochet each. One, two, three. And then we are at the other end of the chain. And now we're going to make five half double crochets into that stitch. One, two, three, four, and five. And now we're finishing the first round with a slip stitch into the first stitch there we go in the second round we're going to chain one so every round we're starting with one chain stitch and then we're making one half double crochet each into the next three stitches one two and three And then into the next six stitches that we made into the one stitch, we're going to make two half double crochets each into the next six stitches. So we're going to make two half double crochets into the same stitch for the next six stitches. And now I'm, I can cut off the yarn tail here. I've been working it into the base of the shoe here. Now we're at our second stitch where we make two half double crochets into it. Now the third one. And the fourth one. Fifth. And sixth. Almost now. <laughs> Here we go. So I'm working with eight ply cotton yarn and it's a really hot day here so the yarn is a little bit slippery. Not slippery enough, I mean it's a bit sticky. So we're going to crochet half double crochet into the next three stitches. This is the second one. Here's the third one. 
And then we're going to make two half double crochets into the next five stitches. One and the second half double crochet into that one. That's the second stitch with two half double crochets. And here I'm making a regular crochet, but you should not do that. Here's the half double crochet again. So I made a little mistake here. I only saw that when I was editing, not while I was filming. So you please do it the correct way and do two half double crochets. <laughs> and now we're finishing the round with a slip stitch. And the third round we're working in the back loops only and single crochet all the way around. So we're starting off with a chain stitch again and now I'm not working in both stitches but only in the back stitch in the back loop and because that's not enough for me I also get one of the loops of the previous round so I'm I can feel this is a bit more sturdy it makes the shoe more sturdy instead of just working into the back loop I'm picking up the back loop and a loop from the previous round I don't know, it's just a preference of mine. You can also only single crochet into the back loop if you like. And that'll just help changing direction of the crochet work. So we're working upwards now instead of continuing to broaden the base of the shoe, the sole. And we're just single crocheting all the way around. Okay, I might speed that up now because I think you get the idea now and I see you at the end of the round again. <laughs> And here we are at the end of the round, finishing it off with a slip stitch again. And in the fourth round we're single crocheting all the way around. And I'm starting off with a chain stitch again. And now I'm just making a single crochet each into every stitch of the round. And this time not into the back loops or anything, just normal regular single crochets all the way around and this is not sped up this is just the way I crochet this looks a bit crazy it's really funny to see yourself when you're crocheting okay sorry I don't want to interrupt you <laughs> so you just single crochet all the way around and I obviously don't have to speed that one up or maybe there are some of you that can crochet a lot faster than I can. I'm sure there are. I'm not really a crochet pro or anything like that. I just learned it because I desperately wanted some shoes for my dollies. And then I think I also tried to crochet like a little teddy bear once. 
that didn't end too well. I might try that again sometime. Now we're almost back at the beginning. By the way, please use a stitch marker. Don't be as silly as I am here. Sometimes it's a bit of guessworking when you don't have a stitch marker. So I'm ending the round with a slip stitch. And now it's getting a little bit more complicated. So I'm starting off with a chain stitch. And now we're going to start decreasing. So first I'm going to make three single crochets. So one single crochet each into the next three stitches. Had some fluff there on my finger. And now we're going to single crochet two together six times. So that's the first one that we single crochet together. The next two. And the third single crochet two together. Three and four. and five and six and now I'm just finishing the round with regular single crochets again if you do want to see how the single crochet two together is done in more detail and at less speed please have a look at the beginner series for crochet on my channel it's linked down below in the video description And here we are nearly back at the beginning of the round. One more I think. And then we can finish the round with a slip stitch again. That's the slip stitch. And now we're going to make one single crochet all the way around again. And as you saw I started off the round with a chain stitch again. And just one single crochet into every stitch of the round all the way around. So this is the shoe for the 8 inch dolls. This is a fun little project to make. I'm always dreading making the shoes for the 18 and 20 inch dolls because that can take me a few hours. <laughs> but this little 8 inch shoe is done in tw about 20 minutes 25 minutes something like that but yeah that's just one shoe <laughs> and then uh, you could imagine how much it would be for a 20 inch shoe which is about six or seven times that size Okay, here we nearly are at the beginning again. We are ending the round with a slip stitch again. Here we are. And in the seventh round we are making the ties for the shoes. So we're just making a chain of 28 stitches. 28 stitches and then we're going to slip stitch all the way back down again and that's one of our ties for the shoes
Now we start to go back down again with slip stitches, just starting in the second chain stitch from the hook. In the beginning it's a bit fiddly, but later the slip stitches become easier as you work your way down the chain here. Okay, I might just speed that up again and see you when we get back down to the shoe edge. And here we are, nearly back at the shoe edge, still doing our slip stitches. And once we're back down, we're making single crochets into the next 12 stitches, and then it's time to make our next tie. Set three, four, Now I can start to make 28 chain stitches again to make the second tie. And since we've already done that before, I'm just going to speed all that up. And I see you when it's time. to go back to the shoe edge.
and we're nearly back down at the shoe edge. Horrified at seeing some of the irregularities in my shoe ties here, but that's because I'm using cotton yarn. And as I said before, it's really hot and everything's a bit sticky, so not everything is going as smoothly and effortlessly as I'm used to. <laughs> but you're gonna do a much better job. And now we're just going to make slip stitches until we're back at the beginning of the round, and then we can finish off the shoe. And our first little 8 inch doll shoe is done. And the second one we're just gonna do in the same way. So if you've already purchased the ebook, you have all the instructions and everything written down there. So you can just put that next to you and read it while you're working. That's probably a lot easier than following this video tutorial. And here we are. Now I can cut off the yarn, finish off, and I'm done with the shoe. So in order to finish off the shoe, I just need a wool needle, and I'm just going to hide the thread in the shoe here after tying it off. And that's the first shoe done. That's it. <laughs> I really like those shoes. I like the ties. So cute. And I'm just going to do some magic and making a jump cut and here's my second shoe. Voila! <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you want to watch the other tutorials for the bigger shoes, 10, 12, 15, inch doll shoes i'm going to link them all down below in the video description and i hope you enjoyed this video and i, s and I see you in the next one bye thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and it was useful to you please give me a thumbs up it really helps me out subscribe for more videos and if you want to support me head on over to my website and have a look at my patterns the link for the website is down below in the video description i'm really grateful to your support i hope i see you in the next video bye